Hello everyone and welcome to another episode. My name is Quinn Noble and today we are going to check out an arcade in Burlington, Vermont called The Archives. So sit back, relax, and let's jump into it. I got to the archives early. I believe they had just opened, however, the archives closes at 2 a.m. every night, which makes sense in a college town. They offer a great selection of cocktails, wine, and beer. My girlfriend, my dad, and I ordered some drinks. I had a key lime and kumquat gose called You Can't Get There From Here, which came from a local brewery called the Burlington Beer Company. I got some tokens and ventured to play some old arcade games. There were quite a few to choose from, but I was instantly drawn to Karate Champ by Data East. I used to play this game all the time when I was a kid at Papa Louie's Pizza in Tampa, Florida. What made this game different from the others were the twin joystick controls. They had all the moves posted on the arcade machine. Now I have this game on the NES, but it just isn't the same. It has been at least 30 years since I played this game, but all the feels came right back to me. Here is a three-player off-road game. Did anyone else burn through their nitros at the beginning of the race like I did? Next we have Tapper. The concept is simple. Serve the beer to the customers before they get to the end of the line, but don't let the empties hit the floor. This game came out in 1983, but was reskinned as Root Beer Tapper in 1984 because the original version was interpreted as advertising alcohol to minors. The original versions of the game had a Budweiser tap controller. The first time I played Tapper was at a Red Robin. I used to love this game. It made me want to become a bartender. And then I did. And to be honest, Tapper is much more fun. Here is the rare coveted 6 player x men arcade cabinet. You don't see these very often and this one is in nice shape. Play Choice 10 is an arcade cabinet I wish I owned. You can put 10 NES games in here and if you put Mike Tyson's punch out in front of me, I have to play it. The Play Choice 10 version has you put in your initials for the WBVA entry. I was able to knock out Glass Joe with one hand while I filmed with the other. It was easy as Glass Joe is, but the weird part about playing on this cabinet is that the star punch is pretty far away from the other buttons. You have to reach all the way up to the front. I played this T2 arcade shooter. It was fun, and in hindsight, I should have tried to beat it. Maybe next time. Speaking of 90s movies franchises, here is a hook pinball machine. I had to try that out. They also have Attack on Mars and Theater of Magic, but I have that on Pinball FX3. I really wanted to play this Ripley's Believe It or Not pinball machine, but it was out of order. It was the only out of order game in the place, and that tells me they take good care of their machines. Mortal Kombat 2 was a game that I probably at least sunk $100 worth of quarters into when I was younger. I remember the first time I ever used dial-up internet was to get the moves and fatalities for this game. I would have loved it if they put them on the machine like the archives has here. It also has some cool artwork of Kintaro and a cup holder. Get over here! I had to play a round of Tetris because it's my mom's favorite game. Shout out to her because she is house sitting watching our dogs and cat while we are in Vermont. I spent the majority of my time playing Sunset Riders. I have never beat this game, so this is where most of my tokens ended up. It's a four player platform shoot 'em up by Konami, and it does not disappoint. Glad I can cross that off my bucket list of arcade games I want to beat. Well, that about wraps it up for today. This is a new kind of video for my channel, but I had fun filming my experience and sharing it with you. Let me know in the comments if you have been to the archives. If you enjoyed this and would like to see more arcade tours, be sure to hit that like button. I hope you enjoyed this short video. My name is Quinn Noble, and if you keep watching them, I'll keep making them.
Thanks for stopping by and have a great rest of your day.